Welcome with you, Kiss. We're going to be looking at uh, what it is that you need guidance with at this time on your journeys using the Divine Directions Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards and the Light Seers Tarot. Okay, a few kiss. Let's have a look, see, shall we? Okay, give me three cards for a few kiss, please. Three cards. Okay, too many. <laughs> Just three. There's one. It's upside down. Can't see it. Two. Third card for a few kiss. Three cards all together, so let's go get these two cards out the way and then we'll get the third one. Okay, so first card here, a fucus is affirm. Okay, so create your own affirmations. Think of words or phrases that inspire you and write them down. Okay, so I wonder if there's this sort of need to start rewiring your mindset your thought system um and the other thing i want to say about that actually if you kiss is that every time you think something negative about yourself for example if you think i'm stupid you know like when you catch yourself saying these um demeaning things to yourself then repeat to yourself three times i am not stupid I am not stupid. I am not stupid. Okay, so that you're reversing what it is that you're saying to yourself and you're training um, the wiring in your brain to think differently. Okay, so the next card here we have is soulmates. Soulmates are important people who teach us Oh, sorry, soulmates are important people who teach you life lessons. They can be friends, lovers and family members. And the thing with this is that as you affirm more positive things in your life, you will attract more positive people to you. Okay, so if you're looking for your tribe, make sure that you are vibrating the right frequency. Um... Of those that you want to attract into your life okay passion passion isn't confined to sexual energy life is meant to be felt don't hold back love it and again that's that frequency right so yeah that's really cool okay so let's have a look further into this so we've got a firm soulmates and passion I love that and I like that with the passion too you know because we can have passion over anything it could be a hobby we do it could be our work it could be anything right and if you don't feel it for your work you know you might want to reassess what it is that you're doing and see if there's something that you feel a bit more passionate about um, that you would like to pursue okay we've got summer here interesting this comes under a firm i'm just saying nope um it says bask in joy and light i like that this is interesting the message that i'm getting about this here is that looking at what you want to fill your honeycomb with you know all the things that are sweet and um, because I feel as though there are some of you that are sort of starting out with a new honeycomb and um, you're filling it slowly but surely. So, you know, this especially coming under a firm here, you know, to create your own affirmations and thinking of phrases that inspire you you know, this is going to lead you to this passion, right? Um, and so, yeah, I really, really love this. And I feel like, you know, it could be that you're working really hard to do that, you know, or this is something that you're just in the 
process of starting. But yeah, that is so cool. Tell me more about summer for a few kiss, please. Okay. Is that just one card? Yep, we've got the Ten of Swords here. One more card for summer. Not yet. You are walking away from this, Ophiuchus. <clears throat> or you have already walked away from it. No longer, you know, look in the Rider Waite deck, that deck, that person is on the ground with these swords in their back, right? Here you are standing up. The crows represent the swords. You've you've kind of shed those swords, you know, and you've got yourself back up, at least, ready to move forward. Wow, that's incredible because that's um that's a feat in itself, and it's taken a lot of strength for you to do that. And yeah, good on you, good on you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Be proud of yourself for doing that. You know. Some of you may be saying, oh, I should have done it ages ago. It took me so long. Reverse that. Okay. Reverse that. It took the time that you needed. It took the time that it took. And that's okay. Yeah. Everyone's different. Next card for summer for a few kiss, please. almost there it is okay the eight of swords yeah um try not to be in your head okay try not to keep yourself trapped in the place that you were in okay because um you don't have to be chained to that anymore if you kiss you can set yourself free and i kind of feel like what is holding you there is actually this mindset, believing that you can't go forward or you can't do this or, or these things have happened to you um, that is preventing you from moving forward. But it's the cards are saying here that um, it's, it's up to you now to change that mindset, change that state of mind so that you can move forward because nothing is holding you back okay, except for you, and so, look, we do that, you know, I've done that myself, kept myself in place, unawares that I was doing that, subconsciously, you know, and still even now, you know, it takes work, and it takes awareness, and um, it's a matter of really focusing, and sometimes it's really hard when you first start it, it's really hard, because you can be so used to doing this, um, but I think it's a matter of sort of unraveling that in a sense, you know. Um, and also, I do want to say that it could have been that maybe, you know, with the Ten of Swords, you rising up from that is part of you letting go of all this this chatter in your mind and this talk that, you know, you, um, you're no good or you can't do this or that, okay. So... And, and honestly, I feel like also if you kiss, these are old records that have been played from maybe other people that have told you all these things, even potentially from a, your childhood, maybe a, a relationship that was um, abusive, okay, it's time to change the record. And I get it. I completely get it, okay. I've been there too. And, you know, it was at the time that I realized that this record that was replaying over and over and over in my mind, it wasn't mine. But I now have control of the record player and I can choose to change the track or the entire record. So I think it's understanding what's in your power now and seeing what it is that you do have control of, okay? So, let's have a look here. That, I don't like how that fell out. There's something also that you're holding back on, I feel. Um, I just wonder, I just wonder if some of you are still in this situation, maybe. Um, I want you to know that as um, hard as it can be, and as scary as it can be, 
there is a way out there is always a way out okay and it may seem like your hands are tied um and it can be really hard when you're in something to see a way out but I do want you to know that there is the options for you to safely leave a situation okay honestly for those of you that that applies to put it out there ask to be led to or have those resources led to you to show you what help is out there reach out a focus because you need to have your back you need to stand up for yourself and you need to represent yourself and do you know what? We all need to do that. Whatever our circumstances in life, we all need to do that for ourselves. Okay, so this is really important for you. Okay, we have underneath soulmates is stag. And it says trust and thrive. And I feel like this is you bringing in the people who you know have your back, who do hold space for you. And um, bringing them in to um, I want to say lift you up, but it's not really their responsibility. I would say more to cheer you on as you lift yourself up, okay? Because we often need to have... Um, a cheering section not just ourselves we need to rely on other people for that at times and I feel like this is one of these times okay the other thing is I also feel like for some of you you're bringing in or you're about to bring in a group of people um, who are your soul family and it could just begin one at a time okay and the momentum will build and as you trust and learn to trust these people and understand that they're there on your side, uh, you're going to start to really thrive, thrive, okay? And you're going to begin to really stand in your power here, okay? For some of you, this is already happening. And um, yeah, it's interesting because there's a mix of energies here. So please apply it to your situation as, as it fits because... You know, that is a general reading. So, yeah. Okay, so two cards for stag. For, yeah, there you go. Thanks. I like how the cards waited for me to finish waffling off there. Magician. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I love this. Um, uh, the magician here. This is about you creating your life. Okay, creating what it is that um, works for you. Sort of like, you know, stirring that cauldron right stirring it up and going you know wishing over it and going this is what I want to create this is who I want to attract into my life this is what I deserve this is what I want this is what I'm aiming for you know so in that regard I really do feel like that it's in your power and um, with this these affirmations here that's going to help you manifest what it is you want you know um, I deserve to be surrounded by people who support me. I deserve to be loved. I am enough. I am worthy. All these things that you can begin to say to yourself to, because sometimes we, um, you know, there will be people who come along and who are there to support us, but it's not a, a match for our frequency because we're not believing this ourselves. And so, you know, I I know for myself, there's been times where I've been so hard on myself and thought so little about myself that all I attracted was people who treated me in the way that I believed myself, you know, about myself. And so be aware of that. And, I'm, you know, that's not to say, oh, it's all your fault that that person did that to you. Not at all. Everyone is responsible for their own. Okay, but, but be aware of your frequency and be aware of um, 
how you might block that love coming into your life. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords here. Yeah, moving away to Karma Shores because this is interesting. She is still in the storm here. Okay, so some of you may still be in the storm, but you may be moving away from that or making plans to move away from it. But I really love this. And what I really love about this too is she's taking only what she needs. And so in the mindset, it is is it, bleh, bleh, it is really sieving through what serves you and what doesn't. And only allowing in your mind what you need. Okay, um, not all the other junk that goes on, you know, all that other stuff that's like, and what about this, and what about that, and what about that time that you did this, and all that criticism, that inner critic harping on at you, okay, um, and challenge your thoughts, challenge them, you know, what gives you the right to say that, why do you think that, you know, ask your thoughts, Sometimes it's, um, I heard someone say the other day that it, oh, now, what was it? It was, um, you know, when we talk about letting go, letting things go, letting thoughts go. Um, sometimes it's actually a matter of confronting those thoughts and questioning those thoughts. And the thoughts will actually let us go because we're not accepting it. And we're kind of going, it's like changing a belief system, right? We're not going to accept that anymore. We're going to question why are we doing these things and what is this about? Yeah. And so, excuse me, in that regard, I feel like you, you will be able to actually just pack into your case the thoughts that serve you well. Okay. Oh, now the next card we have here, sorry, is a Druid. Hold the space hold the space yeah radio okay hold the space for your your um okay i'm putting that the wrong way there's a wisdom inside of you okay there's this like we have the inner critic we also have this inner wise person we have the inner child, okay, um, it's interesting because we go through life as this person, but there's all these parts to ourselves that we can call on to serve us, okay, and, and your inner wisdom is part of that, okay, so hold the space for that to come through, um, and this is falling under passion as well. And so this is about feeling this, feeling this power in you, holding the space for that power to come through, okay? To walk, walk the earth with purpose, walk the earth with that, um, that power of um, the wise person that you are, okay? And what's going to happen with that is that your inner child is going to feel a lot more supported, and talk to your inner child and let your inner child know that that's what you're doing so that they don't have to lead the way because that's scary for a child to lead the way in an adult's body. Okay, living an adult life for a child is not how it's meant to work. Okay, so yeah. Um, and this is also going to help with these thoughts as well because, you know, every time you're thinking something, really step into this power of this druid. And go, is this what my inner wise person would say? Is this what my inner wise person would think? You know, and I think I think you'll start to notice a change. And not only that, but what would the inner wise person say and think? Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so two cards for Druid. Tell me more about this for a few kisses, please. I feel like also that's going to allow your light to shine a lot clearer and the way is going to become a lot clearer for you. Some of you may feel a bit lost right now. Like you're not sure which direction to go in maybe. And I feel like the inner wisdom is going to lead you to your soulmates, 
okay it's going to lead to a more positive mindset okay and it's going to help you feel this passion you're going to get this passion back for you the passion back for your life okay so two of swords and the two of pentacles yeah no way are you sure of which way you're going right now there's there's this inner conflict i feel um and you're trying to work it out and this is where it is so important for you to tap into this druid energy of your inner wisdom and hold the space for that okay okay so next card for a few just please I don't like how those come out. It's interesting. The cards are very... Okay. Okay. We've got our last three cards. So I was like, the cards are so picky today. And then they all fall out. I love it. Okay. So we had the Medicine Guardian come out first. Be open to healing information. Okay. So um, if there's any physical ailments that you have, um, be open to other forms of healing okay um including including because this is also falling under a firm including being open to the potential that your mind can heal your body look into that okay because that is possible a hundred percent possible people have done it so, yeah, just as we can talk ourselves into something, we can talk ourselves out of something. Okay, so give it a go. Look, you're not going to lose anything. And, and, you know, but learn about it um, so that you can get into the right space of it. It's not just saying, oh, you know, I'm well, I'm well, I'm well, and then nothing happens and you don't really believe it. And, you know, or it could be that you're in pain. So it can be very difficult to believe that you're not in pain or, you know, this thing is healed when all you feel is pain. So it's this is why I'm saying learn about it because um, this is, you know, important for you to apply it the correct way because otherwise it won't work, okay? Um, two of cups, two of cups here. Yep, this is you coming together with other people or at least one other person for this healing okay and um and it could be surrounding yourself with loving people to help you heal okay especially if it's emotional you know even with you know anything anything that we have um been traumatized by if we have been hurt um in a relationship you know, relational trauma is healed through relationships. Okay, you can't heal a relational trauma on your own. Okay, and that's not to say to be codependent or anything along those lines. It's a healthy connection. Um, this could be with a counsellor. This could be someone in a particular modality who can help you here. Coming together, forming a relationship with that person in the sense of them helping you in whatever field that they work in okay so that is something to consider and strength here this is you calling on your inner strength here if you kiss okay because you do have it within you even if you don't believe you do all the time but you are a lot stronger than what you give yourself credit for because look look at you here you've risen up Okay, you've risen up, you had swords in your back and you've transmuted the swords into crows and you've risen up, like, whew, wow, that's pretty incredible. Okay, now, so you've got Medicine Guardian, oh, I love this, this whole bottom row is full, filled with guardians for you, so bless, wow. Okay, so we have Protection Guardian, drop your shields yes 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 and this is coming under the row of soulmates here okay um underneath the stag trust and thrive right so drop your shields um interesting i feel like maybe some of you if you're open to energy healing or reiki 
um, that could be an option for you. Okay, I feel as though, you know, dropping the shields of your heart as well. Okay, and um, th the thing is that with your soulmates, is they're going to um, allow you to do that bit by bit, just as you would for them. You know, it's an equal give and take with soulmates. And, um, you know, you don't have to drop it all straight away and because that's going to be too difficult and you're going to be, feel very vulnerable. Okay, um, I just feel like, you know, step by step by step, that's okay to do. And, um, and pace yourself. Really, really pace yourself. This is such a beautiful card. And I feel like what's going to happen over time here, Refugus, is you're going to be able to spread your wings because at some point of your life, your wings were clipped. And allowing this support into your life so that you can begin to thrive is going to allow you to spread your wings, okay? But yeah, let this protection guardian in. To help you drop your shields. They will stand and they will protect you. Okay. So call on them. Call on the medicine guardian. Call on the protection guardian. Okay. But give me two cards for protection guardian. Okay. And the next card please. For protection guardian. For a few kiss. Nice. Nice. Okay. So. We actually had another one turn up, which I do think I'll take. Um, the Knight of Pentacles came out first here. Okay, so part of this, I feel like, is letting go bit by bit. Again, you know, dropping the these shields, okay, because I feel like the Pentacles are shields, you know, especially if you feel like you've been stabbed in the back here. All right, Um interesting because I've never had this from this card before but some of you may help it may help you to work with animals okay particularly horses for some of you if you really enjoy horses um but that you know it could be another form of medicine for you is working with animals or having animals around you okay if you want to open up to love but it's too difficult for you to do that start with animals okay get an animal and love it Okay, so, you know, this is um, certainly an, an op option for you to do that, okay? We have the Five of Cups. So this is, um, I feel like this is the need to not focus on what it is that you've lost. Turn around and focus on what it is that you still have or that you will gain out of this, okay? Um, because focusing on the loss is only going to hold you in that place. It's not going to allow you to travel forward, all right? And then we have the sun. All things wonderful, all things, you know, this is fun, this is success, this is, you know, this energy. Get out in the sun, allow the sun to heal you, get that vitamin D into you, you know? Um, Oh, I heard something the other day about um, not wearing sunglasses in the sun because naturally our body is able to stop us burning. and um, But when we wear sunglasses, it tricks our brain into thinking that we're not in the sun. So if you get out in the sun, just slowly but surely introduce you know, the the um, brain to the idea that, well, you know, the fact that it's in the sun so that your body begins to produce what it needs to produce to stop you from burning. That's not to go, say, go sit for two hours in the sun without sunnies on because potentially you will get burned. But just start off, you know, five minutes and then graduate to 10 minutes and, you know, go further. And it has been tried um, people have tried that and it's worked. So definitely something that is worth doing for yourself. We have <clears throat> next animal guardian. Awesome. Yeah. Um, trust your instincts. Okay. First of all, this is, you know, bringing in these animals. Because look at these animals here. 
loving her. Look at that, that is beautiful. And she's loving them in turn, right? Just a bit like the soulmates. Who's to say that soulmates can't be animals? Yeah, um, yeah, but trusting your instincts, learning to trust those instincts, because I feel like that trust has been broken because, you know, maybe once upon a time you thought that you were using those instincts and things went wrong, and so you have stopped trusting that. Um, but do it bit by bit, again, with the soulmates, okay, bit by bit, all right? Um, okay, so now we have death and rebirth here. Yes, this is time for a new beginning, okay? And always when there's a new beginning, a few curse things fall away. There's generally, you know, it's it's like a forest, right? In order for this, these new, um, this new plantation to thrive, the old, you know, sometimes it can be through a fire, that the new plantation is reborn. So sometimes, you know, things have to happen. But I love this because this is coming after the sun. So I feel like that has already happened in a sense. Um, for some of you, though, it's still to happen. But I feel like you are going to be in charge of that which is really good because this is about empowering yourself, right? Okay, and we have the Eight of Pentacles here, and I love this card. I love the energy of this card. This is this is learning different ways. This is trying different ways, okay? Trying different ways to trust your instincts, you know? Using different things, starting off small, all right? Um, and understanding that even though you've tried one thing one time, Try it again, because you might just learn something new from it the next time, okay? And the very last card we have here is the Knight of Cups. So allow people into your life to love you, okay? But ultimately, open yourself up to yourself to be loved, okay? It always starts with us, so this is where you begin. Take yourself on a date, treat yourself. You know, give yourself the love that you would like to receive from other people, okay? And you'll find more people come in to give that to you. Okay, if you kiss, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.